Hey folks, this is Mike from KEI Fabrication. This is my LS swapped Mazda V2200. If you're new to my channel, go back and check out some of the modifications we've done to this to make it a road racer, a circle track racer, and a drag racer. It's in the process of undergoing some more transformations. You'll see updates on that soon. Hey folks, this is Mike from KEI Fabrication. I've added another playlist to my channel. So those of you who are interested, you can watch the videos on that playlist. If you're not, you can move on to something else. I appreciate it if you'd stick around. This shop was dormant for a while and um, moved on to another career. And I'm just in the process of bringing the shop back to life. And in the process, I'm organizing, cleaning, and I'm getting old equipment put back into shape and introducing some new equipment. So this portion of the channel is just going to kind of get you a little more familiar with my shop and some of the equipment. And I've shared some of the stories behind the equipment previously. And we're in the process of making some changes. So follow along with me and uh, I'll throw up some videos and hopefully you can see what the challenge is and hopefully realize some of the improvements that we're trying to make. Step one, coronavirus clean out. Hey folks, it's coronavirus lockdown day number three. I'm in the shop doing some more cleanup work and you know how it works out. You, you establish a little corner of um, stuff to set aside for future jobs and it just gets out of hand. So what I'm going to do is take all that stuff that's laying down back there and hopefully organize it for steel and aluminum in these five gallon pails. The chop saw is normally, when I'm not using it, parked in there, it fits in there, but obviously it's not going to with all that stuff. So that's one of the little things that I'd like to do so I can really start to, to hoe this place out. Well folks, I don't know if you can tell uh, the difference in uh, what we're seeing here, but the bandsaw is parked where its uh, normal parking spot is where instead of all of that material that was laying on the floor. I got my bucket for steel and my bucket for aluminum. The drill press is moved closer to the bridge port um, and everything is cleaned out behind it. So as cluttered as it may still look, it's jam packed because as every inch is utilized from left to right there but certainly a step in the right direction and um, the only downfall is, is um, 
just because of the positioning of the bandsaw when I need to use it I have to pull it out but it is on wheels and as long as there's no clutter underneath it it should roll in and out it's just up to me now to maintain all of that all right so that's it for that project and uh, on to the next one this has been in this position for 20 some years and um, I'm in the process of getting the bench cleaned off um, I haven't seen the top of that bench probably in 10 years uh, for various reasons what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna move it over to the other side of the shop and um, I'll give you a quick walk by here uh, as I was um, cleaning up the shop and I started taking my equipment out from under the bench where it was collecting dust and I'm trying to put it in position where I can get it to actually uh, utilize it I, you remember that, that small little bending break is going there and I'm going to put the tubing notcher right here uh, it's close to my parts washer it's close to the bench grinder and to be quite honest with you after I put this lift in the bay that I bent tubing in and did my fabrication has always been over here so I'm gonna move that drill press over here and clean it up I gotta say folks it was a pleasant surprise and almost a shock to walk in this morning and see this bench look like this and uh, I can actually do something a project on the bench now the drill press has been removed over to the other section of the shop and I actually um, performed some maintenance on my favorite tool blowing the air cleaner out and, uh, and all that good stuff tuning it up so it's uh, it's not done yet there's still some clutter on the very back but at least I've got something to work on here now it's just up to me to keep it that way the next thing I'm going to do is take this corner here from the edge of the bench and get rid of this disaster so I can park all of the things that are on wheels in here alright so hopefully I'll have something to show you that looks dramatically different in another couple hours well we've got that side of the wall cleaned out all the way back to the lathe and uh, I've got everything rolled out away it's even more of a mess in here than it was now let's see if I can get it all back there in some sort of orderly fashion well it may not look cleaner but it is and it's a little more organized and the stuff that's on wheels will come right out of that side and the welding bench is no longer out in the middle of the shop floor it is over there against the wall and you can just pull it right out pretty excited about that we'll see how long it lasts though okay folks thanks so much for watching the video please like comment subscribe share and here's a glimpse of some of the videos that you are going to enjoy in the future. All right, folks, what I'm getting ready to do here is an alignment on the vehicle. Hey, folks, I lost another fuel pump on this thing. All right, folks, so I've got my first template cut in, and I'm just trying to make the box as wide as it can to not choke off the back side of the filter.